Reach out to me and you to write a story on a shape the new. with a little Totoro. But I've added one of these Chaga mushroom elixirs from the Four Sigmatics. I'm really enjoying these in my coffee in the morning. It just makes it really creamy. I ran out of beauty dust and I've been enjoying these instead. Um, not, not the same taste as beauty dust, but um, I'm really liking it. So those of you who are looking for a vegan alternative, I think you'll like it. It has rosehip and mint in it, but it doesn't taste minty at all. It's just really good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It makes the coffee like a little bit somehow like creamier, thicker. It's really good. I also recommend the Chill with Rishi Hot Cacao Mushroom. Very, very good. But anyways, this morning I am wearing the Color Science Mineral Shield on my face and their body sunscreen. I'm totally enjoying. I mean, it's it's great. Man, the sun is gonna come up. Um, and you know, it's all about the multi-pronged approach. You can't just you can't just go on sunscreen. People are like, I wore sunscreen and I tried to reapply it and I still got burned. Well, did you wear some protective clothing? Well, were you out during peak hours of sun exposure? Multi-pronged approach. But anyways, I have got some new things in my kitchen that I'm really excited to show you guys, um, a beverage update wise, um, that I think you'll enjoy. So let me take you inside and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I actually got this for Christmas and I've been waiting to move into the new apartment to begin using it and I just love it. My mom got this for me um, after I saw it on Allie Sedalis's Christmas gift guide um, recommendations and I really love it. It's a little heart-shaped Le Creuset Dutch oven. And the reason that I like it, as Allie pointed out in her gift guide, is that it has, um, by virtue, of, because of this, the heart apex here, you can pour easily. And so for someone living the solo life and cooking for yourself, you know, you make one serving and you don't wanna have to ladle multiple servings so it's easy to just pour it right into your bowl off the stove works really well for oatmeal i am totally loving it it was a wonderful wonderful gift idea that she had in her gift guide and as soon as i saw it i really wanted it and my mom got it for me for christmas but to match that my mom side note my mom has had her eye on my red polydine kettle for some time and has been wanting a new kettle so i decided to get a new tea kettle when i saw this this is a Le Creuset tea kettle. I've wanted one for some time. And it is their new Sakura. It's their little signature Sakura um, pattern, Cherry Blossom. And it matches perfectly. And I ended up getting this on Amazon because I tried purchasing it from Le Creuset and I don't recommend purchasing it from Le Creuset online. The reason being, I ordered, the, I ordered this and received confirmation of my order and then like two weeks went by and nothing happened and so when I emailed customer service they're like oh yeah by the way we can't deliver to your mailing address and I'm going what that makes zero sense they didn't even bother to notify me they didn't even bother to tell me 
So I went to the most reliable place, the Amazonian Rainforest, and sure enough, they had it, and it came with two-day prime shipping, so I'll list it down below. I really love, love it, and it's super cute. And the best part about the set, about the tea kettle, is that it came with matching cups that perfectly match my brown Betty here. It's just so precious. <laughs> I'm really pleased with that. So it came with the two mugs, and they're perfect size for tea. Ooh, sorry, my, my motion detector light just went out, but you can still see. They're the perfect size for tea. They keep the hot water really hot. I'm totally loving my Brown Betty tea kettle, by the way, that one of you sent me. Thank you so much. I The way I use this, I fill it up with boiling water and let it heat up, dump the boiling water out and put fresh boiling water in, add two tea bags of my choosing, let them steep and then remove the bags. And it really keeps it really keeps the water hot. It's so it's so cute. I feel like <laughs> I feel like um, one of the the cast of Downton Abbey when I drink with this when I use this. And just down here, I have this container that my mom had used and didn't care for, so she gave to me. And I'm really liking it. It's just a tea a tea caddy. I think you can get these at the container store. I believe that's where she got it. Storing my red rose teas. I totally love these. And then for convenience sake, I just have my little stevia sweet leaves over here. Um, I don't think that's going to be a permanent fixture for them, but that is where they are right now for convenience. And this is a Le Creuset piece that I've had for many years. I think I got it at Tuesday morning. And I've had it, you know, I think I bought this around the time I bought my my uh, China set at, at Tuesday morning when I was in college. I think I was watching way too much Martha Stewart at the time, and I was kind of like all about curating things that seemed long lasting. And this was a good purchase, but I use it to store these reusable drinking straws in. And then I've got some just stuffed in here, this, some of these True Lime, True Lime um, beverage mixes that I like so much. So yeah, that's my little, that's my little kitchen. Um, I'm kind of on the lookout for some cute little um, cherry blossom cherry blossom kitchen towels to match and then it'll just be, just be so. And then I've got my Bialetti back there, my safe. picking and selection. Say hey. Hi everybody. Happy Saturday. Boy, you can smell the nice smoke, that uh, wood smoke. Yeah, we have a smoker smoke here. Hats. You look Hi, cute. Mom's OOTD. My usual cargo companies. Are those the Target? No, these are from uh, Stand back Bulls. so they can see. You've got your cranberry colored, what is that, that brand? I, I had one of those for many years. I always forget. Le, this is Le Pelage, right? Longchamp. Longchamp. These are handy. Yeah, they are handy. They look cute. Because you can put just about anything you need to in there. 
Give me a chambray. <laughs> Happy to be here. So I just got this new um, UPF 50, I call it my summer cloak. <laughs> it's by the same brand that makes my, um, that made my sleeves, Eclipse. It's nice because it has a, you know, you just slip it on, but I've basically got a tank top on. Yeah, that is so cool. It's almost like a pa poncho. And it's got the little um, finger loops. Yeah, I love that. I like the color too. Mom wants to show you the back. You said it has a little label. Nice. Nice and light. Sweet. Got all the produce. They also, oh, they have peanuts, mommy. My mom's a big fan of peanuts. She's never met a nut she didn't like. <laughs> That's why we get along so well. <laughs> oh, look, you can, uh, woo <laughs> Power foods. <laughs> These are uh, for Weight Watchers. Yeah. Oh, that's handy. I love that they have a book thing. Isn't that cool? It is cool, yeah. You can drop off your paperback books. Wind of promise. <laughs> Shotgun after the wedding. <laughs> the Froberg family. Oh, that's cute. All of their family members. There are different wedding photos. That looks good. Kasha, 69 cents a pound. They're also really well known for their um, hand pies and snacks. <laughs> they have buttermilk pie, chocolate, peach, strawberry. No, I'm just looking, thanks. <laughs> Blackberry cream. And then we got some hot sauce. A lot of people rave about this. The what is that? Vanilla from Mexico. Oh, sounds really right. Jam Goat's pepper barbecue sauce. I'm gonna get this. Oh, okay. You know me, I love pickled okra. Gosh, I'm scary hot. <laughs> little mini haul here. My mom got some, looks like she got some fresh, freshly picked tomatoes. 
and she got these chili lemon pistachios. I got a pear for my breakfast this morning. <laughs> um, and my mom also got some Asian peanuts. She loves these. <laughs> and we got some cucumber down there and some potatoes. So it's her little haul. How is the bathroom? <laughs> Super clean. I have, yeah, clean. it's ultra clean. That's good to know. <laughs> Do you want to go? No, I'm good. Mmm, smells smoky. It smells smoky out here, but in there it smells like caramel. <laughs> yeah, because of the popcorn, probably. Yeah, caramel corn. And they make pies. They have a little picnic area. You can pick your own produce, but it's kind of a rip-off because they charge you $1.50 for the bucket and then they weigh, weigh it afterwards, but <laughs> the tomatoes they've already picked for you are cheaper. Debbie Downer. You want to have your tomato? I'm going to sit here and have me a tomato. <laughs> Yeah. I got a pear. <laughs> it's a little spotty, but those are the Asian nuts. Mm -hmm. Can I try one? Mm. Are they good? They are good. They have a little sesame taste to them. Oh, I like these. That's cute, cute in there, huh? Those are neat. Coca-Cola. Bonus stamp. They had trading stamps, um, S and H green stamps. Yeah. And, yeah. You got those at the grocery store. And then um, <clears throat> you had these little booklets that mm -hmm. you filled up with the stamps when you got so many full. There was a catalog and you could redeem your stamps for items. Oh. But they were like major items. They yeah, had, I know. Um, all kinds of household things. Yeah, you can get like a mixer. Right? Yeah. All right, here goes. Expectations? Yeah, I feel as though people who, who grow up saying they don't like tomatoes, a lot of them didn't have the luxury of growing up in the South. There's something about tomatoes in the South. They're a little extra special. <laughs> How'd you pear? Perfect. Yeah, I've really enjoyed eating pears this year. I've never really eaten them before. I've always been kind of an apple, an apple <coughs> eater. Yeah, oh, pears are good. I forgot to show them this. Yeah, I'm anxious to try that. I love okra. They had okra in there, but it, it looked a little woody. May I have a piece of the uh, napkin? Oh, yeah. I'm Thank you, dear. Tomato mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to try some of the chili lemon pistachios? Sure. It's fifty on there. I wonder how old these trees are. That's not a very nice question. I never asked a tree at that age. I remember learning that when a tree is cut down, the number of rings can allow you to estimate mm -hmm. its age. Yeah, Maya. I think that's pretty accurate. I'll have three, please. One. Thank you. Ooh, those are good. They have that. Oh wow. The seasoning that they put on the lo lollipops. Yes. Come in. Shamoy, shamoy. Yeah, I don't know what. It's really good on mango. Oh, that's good. 
I'm glad we got that, yeah. As you probably mentioned, I never met a nut I didn't like, so. You did say that, yeah. Mm. Beauty. You got your camera going? Hey there. Oh, you're quite the ham. Most cats don't like the camera. Aren't you handsome? Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, little friend. Can we take you home? I smell an odor of a, of a dog. Can you what a sweet little cat. for Tybee? <laughs> I bet Tybee would actually get along with a cat. He's so... Cooperative. Tybee's a little bit cat-like, as a matter of fact. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty tranquil. Yes. I know. And it's a little frightening. Killer vehicle. Now, honey, I think I'll just drop you off and, and wait. All right. Look, she opened up a spot for me. Handy, handy. Perfect. We are back and I'm running in because I have a library book to pick up that I had on hold. Boom. Road bump. Tybee Bo. Tybee Bo. Do you smell gat gatico? Do you smell gatico, kitty cat? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Did you miss us? Did you miss us? I only had to babysit my bunny. And my carrot. Sometimes my carrot and my bunny don't get along, so I have to keep them separate in separate corners. Mine in their P's and Q's. Ooh, somebody's getting jazzy in here. What you doing? I am gonna try to make vegan um, ranch dressing. All right. So I'm using this recipe from um, Plant Based Cooking Show. Okay. And you've it's got just your cashews soaking in water? Cashews. Raisins, uh, liquid aminos, vinegar, onion powder, and dill. Hmm. So I thought I would let these soak a little bit. Yeah. But I'll let you know how it comes out. We'll the have to reuse are the, for the little bit of tang. We'll have to reuse the produce bags for Tybee's uh, uh, toilet toilet toileting needs. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah, I think they're compostable, it said there. So that's good. Oh, well, that's good to know. Yeah. What a good uh, reuse. Yeah, I think they are. Well, we've got some uh, good looking salads here inspired by the, the produce at the farm. <laughs> that was inspirational. Yeah, let's see. What do you have here? Oh, uh, just everything. I did put some almonds on my green beans. Mm -hmm. But you steam these green beans up. I'm looking forward to them. Yeah, those are from but, Costco BT Dubs. Yeah. <laughs> um, They're potatoes, organic. We got those at the market, mm -hmm. and the cucumber came from there. The cucumber and the the potatoes are steamed. The cucumbers are. The cucumber has this mock uh, ranch dressing on it, and then um, there are nice garbanzo beans up underneath there. Mm, roll but that you beautiful cook, you bean. You cooked those yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, those are those were done in the instant pot. Mm -hmm. And I've got something similar. I've got my cucumber, potato, steamed carrots, garbanzo, some almonds, and green beans, chicken Mrs. Dash, apple cider vinegar. And I've got some of the ranch here in a little dipping cup to dip my carrots in. So looks delicious. This is really good. I tasted it. And it has a really nice dill taste. You said it was a little too intense on the dill, but I like it. Um, I like it. I just, um, I, I've got to get used to the, you know, throwing it together. Yeah. Um, but I think it's something I'll do again. That particular uh, website, mm -hmm. she has some other oil-free dressing recipes. Okay. That I'm interested to try, too. She has a blog. A yeah. A blog also. Yeah. So check her out.
Yeah, you can also use hemp seeds to make a, a ranch. I think I might like doing that sometime. What are you drinking there? Oh, it's just hibiscus tea watered down. That Louisiana hibiscus yeah, tea? Good. Stuff is good. I've been good. sipping on that all week. And you got these paper straws at the dollar yeah, spot I'm and? I'm trying. And? I'm trying to leave the plastic behind. Yeah. But <laughs> it's kind of hard to Those paper ones are awful, I'm telling you. They need to put some wax on them at yeah. least to make them a little more palatable on yeah. lips because I think you've got a little lipstick. Well yeah I put that on thinking it would give a smoother Oh oh I see. Why is it smeared? Yeah. Oh. It's okay. But yeah and everybody comments about the stainless steel straws, but I, I don't like drinking out of those. I I do like drinking out of the silicone ones, though. I'll I don't mind those. Yeah. I don't think I've ever used those. And I, I just drink out of the plastic reusable straws, but I suppose it's better to, to not use the... Well, I mean, as long as I'm not putting it in the landfill. Yeah, you're not. It's better, so. than, better than nothing. But. Um, but the only thing is you have to wash it really well. Yeah, between you. Mm -hmm. It's like you're drinking it. You're the doctor, Tommy. Anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I'm getting the blinky light. So oh. if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen, sunscreen and subscribe. And subscribe. Talk Bye. to you guys tomorrow.